Hi, and welcome to a quick lesson on frequency density histograms. This is a really important topic at IGCSE and GCSE level, and it can get you lots of marks if you know what you're doing. Now, what this question in front of us is asking is it's all centered around a call center. It receives 64 telephone calls one morning, and the table gives information about the length in minutes of these telephone calls. Now, our job is to put these in the question it asks you to put these into a frequency density histogram okay now what you don't want to be doing is the following and lots of candidates would go back to their key stage three knowledge and they would think right okay well length in minutes is on the x-axis frequency on the y-axis okay let me just stress this is not what you want to be doing and um they would say right okay we're probably going to be going up in fives to fit all these um, values on so let's just make sure we do that right okay 15 20 perhaps 25 okay we might do something like that and then we might come along and we might um, do the first one so the first one is 0 to 5 okay being the length of minutes uh, in this interval and there's four phone calls that are between 0 and 5 minutes so that would mean a little bar like that and the next one's 5 to 15 so that would be 10 okay so now we're going up to up to 10 5 to 15 like so i don't know where are we hard to tell actually with this grid it's not not the most user friendly let's <laughs> have a look um yeah somewhere like there i think yeah hope so could be wrong oh yeah i think i got it and then the next one 15 to 30 and we're going up to 24. Now, I'm not actually going to finish this. I'm not going to waste my time on doing something that is so hopefully obviously wrong. Um, let's just finish this one off. Again, it's a bit fiddly with these. Yeah. Okay. Now then, what's the problem? This is a very misleading representation or display of data because let's bear in mind that this one here, put it in a different color, this one here is representing a frequency of four. This one's representing a frequency of 10. And this one's representing a frequency of 24. Now, I think it's easiest to see the um, if we compare this area, it's representing four. This area, that is should be six times bigger, OK? Because four times six is 24. But actually, when I start to sort of, um, you know, one, two, three, okay, four, five, and be very rough here in doing this. Can you see that if I actually shade in an area that is approximately, I think it's about right, approximately six times more, that should be, you know, showing 24, it's not right, okay? This is much, much bigger than it should be. And this is also bigger than it should be, okay? So this is not what we need to be doing here. And the reason that it's all wrong, the reason why it's so misleading is because this one has a class interval of only five. This one has a class interval of 10. And this one has a class interval of 15. The fact that it's got so much wider as we've done these different bars is really kind of skewing our understand, you know, what this, what these bars look like and, and the sort of the information that they are conveying about the frequency. So what we need to do is instead know what to do with a frequency density histogram and how to do it. And the, the, what we do is we need to not have just frequency on the y-axis, but something called frequency density. OK, now in a frequency density histogram, OK, this is the key points here. Um, class widths, key thing, first of all, class widths are unequal okay which leads us to show the data fairly with a fair representation um by showing frequency is shown by the area the areas of the bars rather than their heights. Okay, all right. So, what's frequency density? We're going to see this. We're going to see how to construct this now. So, frequency density. Now, frequency density is frequency divided by class width. 
So the first thing I'm going to have to do is actually extend this and put two more. I'm going to do this quite roughly. <laughs> two more um, columns. And the first of these is class width. And the second is frequency density. Now, what's the class width in the first one? It's five. Then we've got 10. Then we've got 15. Then we've got 10 again. And then we've got five. Okay, so the frequency density, okay, frequency divided by class width. Sorry about my <laughs> presentation, it's terrible class width but you know what I'm, I'm saying at the same time hopefully that's that's okay oh no what's happened to my writing today um frequency divided by class width so four fifth four fifths is 0 0.8 10 divided by 10 is um one 24 divided by 15 at this point i'm going to start reaching for calculators um, so 24 over 15 is um, 8 over 5 or 1.6. I'll do that, stick to decimals. Um, then we've got 20 divided by 10, which is 2. And we've got 6 over 5, which is equal to 1.2. Okay. Now, the frequency density um, y axis, okay, the frequency density is represented on the y axis. We only actually have to go up to 2, don't we? So um, we could go, what, 0 0.5. One, um, then again, it's quite difficult to see on here. One point five and two. Okay. All right, so it's only going up to two anyway. And um, now let's go and draw in a frequency density polygon, a frequency density histogram, should I say, that is going to more accurately display data. Let's go and do the first one. So the first one is zero to five, and the frequency density here is zero point eight. So going to have it going from there to there and up there. Next one, 5 to 15 and it's going up to 1. So 5 to 15 now. 15 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I think there. I hope I'm right. 5 to 15. Oh, it's a bit dodgy down there. Right, okay, I can cope with that. Uh, 15 to 30, it's difficult on here. Um, 15 to 30, so we're going to be going up to 1.6, like so. And do, 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 up to there. Yep. okay. And next one, we're going to be going 30 to 40 and up to 2. I'm sure, you can be much neater than me. <laughs> <laughs> that's bad. 30 to 40, let's try that one again. 30 to 40. <sighs> okay. <Stop it. laughs> okay, you get the idea. And the next one, 40 to 45, 1.2. So we're going to about there. There we are. Now, let's reassess. So this one. This one here is showing a frequency of four. This one's showing a frequency of 10. This one's showing a frequency of 24, and then 20, and then six. It looks more, much more in proportion, doesn't it? And also, something else that might be useful to you, which we might appreciate, is that we can actually use a formula triangle. And um, frequency density is frequency over class width. Now, um, what? I don't know what's happened to my writing today? Let's do that to you again, at least. Okay, so the frequency basically, the frequency is frequency density times by class width. Now that would make sense, wouldn't it? Because that is um, that is going to give us actually the the area of each of these rectangles. Okay, it's because the frequency density is the height. In this case, it's zero point eight. And the class width is 5. So 0 0.8 times by 5 gives us a frequency of 4. Let's check this one. Um, the class width is 10. The height is 1. So 10 times 1 is 10. So if you actually were given a, um, a frequency density histogram and asked to find what each of the bars represented in terms of frequency, all you'd have to do is do width times by height 
and find the area of each of the bars. And that would give you straight away what the frequency is. Okay, so what have we got here? We've got a width of 10. We've got a height of two. Okay, so we've got 20 and so on. So questions can um, assess your understanding of this as well by asking you sort of round in a roundabout way, assessing your understanding of this, getting you to find different values. They might even say, well, the frequency is um, 20. Okay, the class width is 10. What would the frequency density have to be? Or complete the histogram and get you to show that you know it would have to go up to two to make that frequency, to make that area of 20, for instance. I hope that's nice and clear today. There's histograms, okay? If you know what you're doing, they're pretty easy, okay? This is the key to it. And understanding that frequency is the area, not the height.